Farmer Ronald B. Koo wants to know more about cultivating fruit trees like Aki, Custard Apple, Five Fingers, Mango and Popo. So he attended the Establishing Exotic Fruit Trees seminar. The session introduced farmers and home gardeners to a variety of exotic fruit trees that can be grown in Tobago for economic purposes. Participants learned of the benefits and challenges that can come with growing exotic plants. They are glad that the Division of Food Production, Forestry and Fisheries continues to provide free agricultural sessions like this one. Um, I think it is absolutely necessary. Um, I wish we could get more youth involved. But this is the type of program that we need on a regular basis in Tobago uh, because we understand the importance of agriculture both the health and the economic side of it. This is an excellent initiative, not just for the exotic foods, but the overall program that gives you information about planting, organic farming. There's so many different topics that are covered in these sessions. The Exotic Fruit Trees Seminar is just one of the courses offered to the public under the division's home gardening program. According to Technical Field Officer Denisha Jones-Williams, the courses will benefit agriculture in the long run. We are trying to improve food security, right, and also to increase food production, right. So the purpose of this is to basically to assist along that line. So as long as we can achieve that so that home gardeners can produce their own food, that we can actually have more food grown in Tobago, produced in Tobago, then at least we would have achieved something. Participants learned about land preparation, irrigation, pruning, pest and disease control, and harvesting exotic fruit. Now, they'll be able to cultivate exotic fruit orchards for agro-tourism and for export. But I know we might have some farmers, so if by coming here, they might be able to do the well, production on a large scale, right, where it is that they probably could eventually export, right, so it will give us a variety. These participants also have the potential to join the movement that provides the population with a more healthy and wholesome selection of food. I am Amadara Mills for Let's Talk Tobago.